Hello, Happy New Year everyone! Today is December 31, 2019 here and it's already 11 p.m. An hour from now, the ball will drop in Times Square, New York City. Actually, my in-laws are already there since four hours ago. They reserve a spot. But you know, I felt so, I mean, tired also standing and I felt a little cold though I'm adjusting already but you know sometimes maybe due to lack of sleep for several days preparing for the year end fundraising uh how do you call that event we have for Hesed's uh insert <laughs> belated happy birthday uh it get a toll on my health and having guests around I felt so happy excited and you know, you want the best in everything. So, uh, yeah. So, I tend to feel like I felt sleepy. <laughs> anyway, but I want to wait for the new year. And I don't want also to miss spending time with them for the new year. I'm blessed because um, as my reflection, I love to just record that uh, I want to thank my in-laws for really taking time from their vacation, precious vacation because they're career people and they really saved their money to visit me and has said here in US to spend time together for Christmas and New Year. I know they plan to go to Israel this year to spend Christmas and New Year in Israel but they came here for us and that brings a lot of joy knowing that uh, we are loved, not only me but also has said. So they want us to be together. Hmm. So how did I spend my whole year this year? It's a big change. I made some major decision to decide to let go of a lot of commitments I have in the Philippines. Like my uh, Wisdom Light Christian Academy as a full-time um, as a school principal. Now I, I step backward to be the school Cons uh, consultant so that I can also have time to have more time to be with Hesed and also to study how I can understand her better so with that I took a lot of certification seminars and workshop to improve my learnings in helping parents with special needs to apply and share what I've learned to, to them and so we can apply it to our children Anyway, and I also help a uh, foundation. It may be temporarily because I cannot stay here long because of my status. So I just grab whatever I have for this f around five to six months to be here. Like has said, schooling, gaining a lot of um, experience with the therapist handling her so I observe and I learn from them as well so I maximize my time in uh, incubating in how I can someday uh, publish a book if God willing my goal next year uh, that I can also write a book to help parents with special needs so hopefully I can document my learnings my journey for this past six months uh, for the past three months and then another three months coming so pray with me for this um, project that I'm thinking for next year so with that I will keep you posted so um, now I know we want to have space we have we want more time for ourselves to do what we want to do but you know relationship is something that we need to invest because this lasts this will last project um, achievements rewards uh, figures that money that we want to achieve a significant amount all this will pass away but what lasts is our relationship with god and relationship with our family so with that my reflection today is no matter how you want to just be alone or sometimes you want to just um, do what you need to do but you know there is what we call essential there is what we call priorities so I believe family is our priority relationship 
and this is what matters most in life and of course as we build our relationship it has a lot of friction there are a lot of sometimes misunderstanding there would be times there's conflict but always remember um these are just temporary when we communicate uh, many things can be solved but even there sometimes communication involves just merely listening um, being present and being mindful of what you say sometimes we just have to be there and not say something so may God help us how we can relate to our loved ones so that we can avoid misunderstanding and conflict so even our children understanding teenager needs a lot of um, wisdom from the lord and understanding so let's continue to cover our family with prayer my in-laws my family back home in cebu i miss you all my friends cebu manila <laughs> Anyway, again, the Oro, where we served in different churches before, and Testament Ministries International, brothers and sisters, we are remembering you all in our prayers. We, I may not be there with Hesed for six, uh, three months already, and around three more months to go, but you know, you are dear to our hearts. So let's continue to love the Lord, be prayerful, whatever we are going through in our trials or in our. Uh, journey in life always remember that with God's help nothing is impossible be strong be courageous we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus our Lord happy new year everyone from the bottom of my heart to all of you here greetings from New York bye bye